The 73-year-old new king has had a lifetime of preparation. Unlike his mother, who was not first in line to the throne when she was born, Charles III has always known. Adam Hollingworth reports. Prince Charles has known since he was three he'd been next on the throne. It's been a long apprenticeship, heir apparent for seven decades. Plenty of time to think about where he'll take the monarchy. The idea somehow that I'm going to go on exactly the same way if I have to succeed is complete nonsense. Invested as Prince of Wales at Carnarvon Castle at just 20, he was painfully aware that just being himself was not an option. At one time, you were reputed to be a very shy boy. Do you now find it much easier? I, I think I do find it easier a bit, yes. I'm, I'm still fairly shy. Um, I think one has to conquer this. But he always aimed to be a different kind of king. As head of the Church of England, Queen Elizabeth was described as the defender of the faith. Prince Charles wanted to change that title to defender of faith to include other religions. Charles realised he could use his privilege to help young people in need, setting up the Prince's Trust with his Navy severance pay. Part of my cunning plan has really been to invest in the future, in the lives uh, and the abilities and the talents and the potential of so many young people. Charles has always been a passionate campaigner for the environment. Because time has quite literally run out. He was early to the debate about genetically modified foods, organic farming, improved land use and sustainability. And at COP26 in Glasgow, President Biden said as much. Poor thing going. That's how it all started. His activism may now be toned down, but is unlikely to go away. Charles has visited New Zealand seven times, three times with Camilla and once with Princess Diana, in happier times before their marriage broke down and Charles admitted to adultery, taking the monarchy to a new low. Did you try to be faithful and honourable to your wife when you took on the vow of marriage? Yes, absolutely. And you were? Yes. Until it became irretrievably broken down. Princess Diana described Camilla as the third person in that marriage. After Diana's death, Camilla is Charles's second wife and now Queen Consort, having slowly but surely gained public acceptance. And even 10 years ago, Charles was back in our good books. It's definitely learnt to relax. He's a lot more fun than he used to be. Oh, no, the toys all good, eh? So do you think he should be King Charles III of New Zealand? I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> his own reputation restored, Charles has other pressing family matters. There's his wayward brother Andrew and the relationship between his sons William and Harry. The royal firm's new patriarch will only hope he can wield power with the same tact and diplomacy as his mother. Adam Hollingworth, News Hub.